Hi everybody, Jo here again. Thanks for popping in today. Thanks for spending some time with me. I really do appreciate it. Today I'm going to have a play around with this sort of design and you know I like to name things, it's just the way my head works and we're going to call this Extending the Landscape and I must admit I've had great fun with this. I love trying lots of different techniques and that's the beauty of Lavinia stamps and the products. I mean Lavinia now have the most amazing range of products and um, if you haven't checked the website out lately do go and have a look. I mean the new gel press, the stencils and um, the pencils. I love chalk pastel pencils. I mean so many things honestly but Again, if you're starting off, and I know we've got some new followers, and thank you very much for that. And if you're new to crafting, you don't need a lot to start off with. And often I think we almost get carried away with our craft room when we've got so many products. So this, I'm going to stick to tones of, of one colour, and I'm going for blues. And I'll tell you what, let's begin. I'll explain what card size I'm using first because I know a lot of our followers love to know about card sizes. Now this I must admit I'm using a ready-bought card blank and this is a six by six. Just because for me this is an ideal size to post. Any of you who've posted one of your eight by eight cards recently will know the postage seems to have gone up a little bit. Now I'm using multifarious card and again, a lot of my designs go round um, economy, I think is the word. So I've got multifarious card here and one of the large A4 sheets, I can get these pieces out of it. And so the reason I've gone for, this is a five and a half square, which is perfect because it's going to be my topper my larger topper and I get two of them now when you cut if you cut those first from your A4 you get a strip down the side so I'll tell you what let's try and make it a bit more obvious to you why do I always make things difficult so basically the card is like this your A4 and what I do is I make the cut down here first so I get my two and my little piece and that's perfect for sentiments never ever throw that away and especially now we've got these beautiful new sentiments again thank you Tracy and um, that's perfect so always save that and look if you want to make a little banner there ready made and then you've got this look so I cut this at four and a half and that gives me my ideal so out of this, I've got two ready-made cards, should I wish to do two similar, or one with a topper and two spare. So that's the way my head works. So just to remind you of those sizes. So this is a five and a half square. And then this is the piece that was left. And I'm going to have to measure it because I don't know what it measures. It's sort of two and three quarters by four and a half. And that's in inches because I know our um, friends in America like our inches. But so that's the only reason why I've chosen these sizes because purely it comes out of my cardstock. Now, as I say, inks, I'm going to go for, and I'm using oxides just because they're on my desk. And I'm going for Speckled Egg, Stormy Sky and Mermaid Lagoon. Now, when I'm working, I tend to just put them next to me in the order that I'm going to use them light to dark. Just because, again, that's the way my head works. But I always say this, however your head works, you craft the best way that you like to. And what we'll do first is we'll just do some gentle blending just to um, get a bit of background. But we don't want it too heavy. We want it quite light. So I'm going to start with my speckled egg and I'm just going to gently blend and again circular motions coming about a third of the way down. And then I'm going to turn my card round and go to my deeper colour, my Mermaid Lagoon. And I'm going to blend that from the bottom again about a third of the way. And the reason I do this is because what I find is when I now come to blend my mid-tone I can actually blend it into both colours at the same time so I can go down into my deeper colour and up into my lighter colour 
and I just find it a much quicker, easier way of blending. And then all I'm going to do, don't put any more ink on your um, smoothie at this point, just use what's on there and move that ink around. And I'm actually going to use my light colour to just go over the whole thing and just blend it. And I'm, I'm happy with that. So I'm just going to like this up, otherwise I'll just put my hands in it. So I'm sorry if the, if the table rocks and my camera rocks, I'm very sorry. This is what happens when you see us as we are at home in our craft room with us. But it is lovely to have you company. I'm so glad you come in and join me. Now what I'm going to do now, before I do my stamping, just while I've got my inks out, we're going to build up our scene. So I'm going to open. Now, if I open it, you can't really see that, can you? So if I put that there. So this is my ready-made card blank. And I'm going to have my topper about there because I, I want it off centre. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. Sorry, just let me... You know what this throat of mine's like? It's so much better. And thank you for your lovely comments. But it's still there. It's still niggling. But you know what? It is what it is. It's not a problem. So I do apologise if I go croaky, please do, do let me apologise. Um, I'm going to use the Lavinia Hill Masks. Now these are perfect. And we've got four and they go from almost like a, a slim incline, a flat land, to a bit hilly and then we go pretty mountainous. So I tend to use them in order that they go and that helps me with perspective. And also remember dark to light is your big help with perspective. So I'm going to start at the bottom and I'm going to have that probably say there, just checking you can see. And the reason I'm doing it this way, <clears throat> sorry, I know it might mess with your head and I know the finished piece will be that way. But for me, I just find it far easier to craft this way. And if any of you struggle with this technique, that, just try doing it that way, you'd be amazed. For me, it's certainly easier. I'm going to come in with my darker colour, but because this is quite dark, sorry, got stray Eric hair there. Um, because this is quite dark, I'm going to make sure I put it on here first. Now, I may not see much on, on the actual, because I'm putting tone on tone, but again, I always pop it on the mask first, and I'm just lightly, just gingerly at first, because I don't want to come in too heavy. And I'm just going to extend that landscape. Now, if you did want, you could take it right across the back. I'm just going to take it a little bit. So I go across the crease. And I might actually just extend a little bit. So I've got a little bit of shadow below my card. I don't think I did that on my original, but I think that might look nice. I'm just going to come in with a little bit more to see if I can. Now, if I lift that up here. Oh, yes, we have got. So I'm happy with that. So I'll put that to one side and I'm going to come in with more the more hilly one now. And again, try not to move them, but a little bit of movement's fine. And let's see, how should we have a hill? Now I want it that I can use it twice. So maybe if I put it across there. Right, I'm happy with that. I'm going to come in with my mid-tone now. And again, I'm always starting on the actual topper because that's tone on tone. So I'm probably going to need it a bit deeper but then almost a bit gingerly, a bit lighter when I come onto my white card. And again, nice light strokes and I'm just coming off the acetate mask and just flicking down. And then once again, let's lift that up. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Now I need another, but I don't want to look, you see, if I just put another, that to me wouldn't look right because it's too uniform and nature doesn't do that. So it is worth just spending a bit of time having a look. And I don't want sort of a down and an up again. For me, that messes with my head. It doesn't look right. So let's just, we just need to offset it a little. Right, I think, I think I'm going to go for that. So again, on the actual topper and then... And again, I'm not inking up because, again, to help with perspective, nice and gentle. And don't worry if it moves like that, you can just pop it back. So 
Well, let's change and go for the more mountainous, our last one. And let's see, I'm thinking there. And I'm going to come in with my speckled egg, my lightest colour. Now, again, I probably won't see much here, just nice and light. And I really want this, this sort of like misty in the distance. Let's see, is there not much? Oh, there's enough. Yeah, again, and it's always worth checking. So when I turn that round, so that's going to go there. Now, what you can do, if, especially on this one, you think you've not got enough, you can bring your mask back in. Look, and it's easy to line up and just add a little bit more under where the card was but i've got to be honest for me i'm happy with knowing that i can line that up there so we'll put that to one side she says is your craft room like mine how many one sides can a girl have and what we'll do is we'll do our stamping so I'm just going to get my, my copy of paper and I'm going to start off with one of the, the poppy sets and I'm going to use the Versafine Claire, the Nocturne and I love this poppy. I say set of three but this really is my favourite and I've just slightly tilted his head and where I've got my base there that's perfect just to plant him and again don't be in too much of a rush and then what we're going to do is we're going to add some of this lovely this is a buttercup stamp and I adore this I love this bit at the bottom and again I've done you could actually put, if you did your card this way, you know, you can actually do a whole design just by stamping the buttercup. It's such a useful stamp, this. And again, I'm going to do this one in black. And again, I'm just stamping sideways just because that's what I do. And I want to make sure that I get all this lovely detail at the bottom on my design and with this being a silhouette it's worth just letting that ink soak in look can you see that beautiful beautiful base there so i'll just stamp it again and then we'll put a second one here again Remember to get that nice base. So how are you doing? How have you been keeping? I hope you're all okay. I must admit here in the UK we've got some, some lovely weather. But then also we have some nice rainy days, don't we? So, But I always think that's good for my garden. Look at that, so pretty. Now, I'm happy with that, but I just want a little bit something more in the background. You know, when I mean, when I'm walking Eric and I look in the fields, um, you always get this. And this field grass, as you know, is one of my favourites. And I think because it's almost just wispy. And again, remember, use your acetate. So we'll just have a couple of those. And because I want them a bit more in the background, I'm going to go for warm breeze. And we'll just have a couple of these. Just, I just want one just coming in there. And again, this will just help with the perspective. You could use second generation if you wanted. But I think just the warm breeze itself. But I'll tell you what, we'll do the one in the middle and we'll do that second generation. And then it almost looks like it's floating like they do. I'm just going to give that a little bit of a blot. You know, your Versafine Claire is a slower drying ink, permanent ink, but slower drying. We don't want it to smudge. While I've got my copy of paper, I'm just going to edge this. So I've just got a, a Sharpie pen here. So any of you, your black, your pro markers or... Now, as you know, I used to use a ruler for this, but I've <laughs> been trying to train myself to see if I can do it without... 
it's quite good it's sort of a bit of a leap of faith but it's lovely you get a fine line just want to add a bit more there that's better and i'm going to do it on our other topper the main thing is to hold the card down and then hmm, take a deep breath and be firm you need to boss it it's like billy bray you, you need to show it who's boss we'll put that to one side there and what i'm going to do is just add a little bit of color to my poppy and i've just got a couple of the ink tens pencils here so i've got a darker one for the base and then here where we've got that poppy inside obviously they've got layers with the petals haven't they so Tracy's shown us where we need the darker colour and again because I'm keeping to blue and blue this is going to be my Mechanopsis, my, my Himalayan poppy and then a little bit of water, fine paintbrush and just blend that ink. Now if you want while you've got your paintbrush you can always add a few little drips of water and let that just full bleach. Now, the other thing that I want to do is just add a little bit of highlight. I don't want to go too mad with my highlights, so I'm just going to add a little bit of white. While that water just gets on with its full bleach in there, we'll add a little bit of white highlight just on these lovely silhouettes and then I'm going to come in with my signal and this is the silver and I just find I just want a little bit of sparkle but I don't want too much now I know sometimes we have to make condolence cards and they're not very nice to make are they um, but I have to say this if possibly used a little bit paler colour um, it would make it if you, you could I was going to say a lovely condolence card and that's almost an awful thing to say but I think it would make a really nice card that could be used for a condolence card with that new beautiful verse of traces I think this design would really lend itself I'm just going to block my water there and I'm just going to with the heat tool so do sorry about the noise just for that just to dry that off And then all we would do is stick that on there. But just, I mean, look how lovely that is. Now, because we've extended, uh, we just need to do a little bit more stamping. And again, this is where your acetate comes in. Now, when I designed this, I didn't want to do too much stamping here. I didn't want it to overpower or take away from my lovely image. So what I did was... I decided on the word and I've gone for happiness and this is from the new blessing set so we'll stamp that first so I hope you're still with me I hope we've not lost anyone on the way now you could glue that down first if you want I've just sort of put it in position and I'm thinking if we put the happiness there it ties the two designs together and then, like I said, I don't want to stamp anything too large here, but I felt it just needed something. So again, this is where your acetate is so useful. And that's when I could decide, did I put that there? No, I thought that just looked lovely. If I put it too far away, it almost um, doesn't become part of the design. If I put it there, then you've got this cohesive design where everything looks like it belongs together. So your acetate is so useful for that. But again, I'm just going to have to turn mine on the side. And then we'll just ink this up and I'm using the black again. And then we're just going to put that there. I'm hoping you have a go at this. And um, as always in our Lavinia For You Facebook group, if you want to post your makes, it will be lovely to see. And if you tag me in so I can see what you've done. I do think these would make a lovely set of notelets, you know, and maybe change the colours, maybe do some in different colours. Now, I just want to blot that poppy. 
to really try and get used to blotting and then what I need to do is just bring in I want to just ground it but only slightly so I'm thinking have I got blue on can I just I just want a little don't want too much okay that's enough just can you see to ground that poppy so if I bring my card blank in now I'm not going to glue it because I think you've probably spent enough time with me I'm conscious of, of keeping you but I would just use a wet glue so I had some wiggle time now if you wanted you could even this chopper put it on foam pads raise it up I think that would look lovely and I just need a little bit of the silver highlight, don't I, on there again to tie it all together. She says as she moves it. But I just use, like I say, um, a dry clear glue so I have a wiggle time so I can slide it in place. And then the final thing, I'm going to add some Posca splats. So I'll give it a good shake. But again, if you're not a fan of the Posca splats, you don't have to add them. So I'm just going to add... And again, just it's something I just like a diagonal. So I like to just go in the diagonal across my card. It stops me overpowering it. Just a couple up there. There we go. That's it. Walk away enough. And that's my design. So I'm just going to pop the lids on my ink pads. Give me a little bit more space. I think us crafters need to invent one of those tables, you know, that extends so your craft table, no matter how much space you've got, you can extend it and always have more space. I'm just going to move that down so you can see the whole design. And what I'll do, I'll just put it to one side and I'll bring in the original. Oh, look, we're almost. Oh, look. <laughs> that one. You could shame that one doesn't match up. But those almost match up, don't they? You could <laughs> extend it a little. I mean, you could, if you wanted, you know, extend the scene right across the back of your card. I mean, I must admit, I've got a little bit of ink there. So to cover that up, I will actually go now and extend my scene right across. And I'll probably just stamp another little... I'll stamp my name and I'll stamp another little poppy there. I mean, how nice is that? Often, we, we don't do the back of the card. So maybe that's something. Maybe we could start a trend. You heard it here first, ladies and gents. <laughs> so thank you for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed that. And you know what? I'm thinking this would make a lovely, dare I say that, Christmas word, Christmas design. So do you know what? I'll work on that. Pop back next week and we'll do Christmas. Okay, you take care, everybody. Thanks for all your lovely comments. Love and hugs. Bye for now.